it's me, Nick. So, this is the video that's connecting to my blog about, like, the quad blog about Legos. This is a video about how to make one of these Lego candy machines. Right now, I don't have any M&Ms or Skittles, any sort of candy. But if I open this up, there we go. If I open this up, it shows how this thing works. It's pretty hard to make it work. It's kind of hard. Um, I'm gonna have to get a stand for this. Okay. One second. Books. They're books. Yes, they are books. That I read two times. Both of them. So, inside it shows. It shows how this thing works. So, if I pull this lever right here, this goes up. Why would it move? There we go. So if I take this, oh gosh, oh gosh. I take this thing, ah oh gosh. If I keep on breaking this. If I take this out, it shows what this thing is, basically. This is the slider, not a burger. This is a slider. Um, of how all the M&M's drop down. So, um, basically, it has curves going down onto the middle, where this little hole is. Oh, that should still wet. Right there. And the point is, the smallest candy we can find is about sweet tarts, or M&M's, or Skittles, or I don't know. Like, Smarties. Those are, like, the basic candies that are really small. And so, like, they could fit right through this little square, or the hole. And, yeah. And the reason why I have these all these little decorations, I don't know. Because I use them from other sets. I want to be creative and make it all colorful. See? It's all colorful everywhere. And basically, this no, no, not this. No. This is the main track where you dispense or where the candy rolls out. So, okay. So if you take this, you put it onto this, like this, like look, look, like place it in through there basically a lever. Keep on moving this. It's just easy. It's a long line. You pull it back and forth for this. Pull it back and forth and you get this. And so when you do it, oh my gosh. My head to keep dizzy. Um if you do this, there's it's it's blocked right here. And so candy can't get through. But if you shove it back like this, there's a hole through here that can Go through. I can go through this. Oh, what is it? This hole where it comes out. Why am I using so much words? I mean, why am I using? Why am I saying hole so much? So basically, that's the two main base areas. And what you need to make one of these are a lot of these. Um, uh, let me get. This. Let me get an example. Like a lot of these. These one by whatever rods, like make a base out of them, like make make like a wall, like a square wall, and like make a cur curve at one point where you want to release all the candy, and then at the end you put like all this little all these little containers and stuff where the candy comes out. And lastly, put all this together. Makes one big. How do I. How did I connect these? Oh, gosh. oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Um, 
So I connect um, all of these together and like we blow all this stuff. It makes the candy machine, but first of all, this um, candy machine has a lot of Lego bricks to take in, which might be a little pricey if you don't have a lot of Lego bricks like I do, because I have a lot, like, I don't know, like a lot. I'm just, I'm just gonna say a lot, but like, I have a lot of Lego, so I decided to make one of these. It's pretty easy to. I learned from, um, my friend that if you pull a lever back and there's a hole here, you can drop through ramp right there. Right here. Like, it go through here and down. It could basically be like a little black hole. And if you do this, you block up the black hole. So, all this together makes... Let's see, let's put this together. Come on, stick, stick. I want you to stick. Put this all together, makes this candy machine. But I don't have any candy. That's a problem. That's a problem. I'm serious, that's a problem. A really big problem. So if, this is the lid, basically. Like, if you wanted to re refill this, you would have to open the lid and fill in this part. Make sure the lever is closed. Don't make sure, don't, don't do this because y y it's gonna fall through when you're doing it and there's no point of like, like making your candy fall through and even though like you're trying to refill it and you can't even refill it, refill it so yeah. And that's basically it. Just need a bunch of ramps, a lot of bricks, some sliding pieces. Oh, that's a decoration. This is a decoration. And basically, a platform like this. You don't need to have this. Just I chose this for my basic model because these things are pretty long. Look at that. That long. And, so I chose this, and I made it, like this, I made the model like this, and then I did this, and then after, well, I need, yeah, and after that, it came out like this, which was like my smaller version, which was about, like, I don't know, it was like this big, the smaller version was like at least 10, per like 10% of it, and so like, let's, I'm going Always do this to me. Why? Okay. So basically, the smaller version was 10% of this, and yeah. So this is basically how I made this machine. Can't not candy machine. Machine without any motors or electricity, and yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool, but it's really pricey if you're gonna buy all these. But if you're gonna buy all these Legos. Which is really pricey. Like, like I don't know. It can go up to like twenty eight dollars if you like. If you want to make it small version, like buy all the pieces. It goes up to twenty five, twenty eight five, twenty twenty eight, twenty five dollars to about fit like to about fifty for all this. And the reason why I made it all colorful and make it all all fun. And of course, I want to thank my cousin who's always helping me. AKA she's a girl. Um, she's always helping me and finding, helping me to find all these Lego pieces under the bucket because all the Lego pieces are mixed up and stuff. So, yeah. So I want to thank her. And plus, pretty cool. It's really cool. Like, and, and you can charge people for it. Like, add something onto this. Right. So this is it. This is, how, this is basically how to how I made this candy machine. It's not how to. I'm sorry. I, I, I couldn't. I couldn't. I just couldn't do all those bricks. Like all of them. Unless I was doing the smaller version. The smaller version would take longer. And I wouldn't do that by now because it's kind of nighttime. If you look at the window up there. So yeah, basically, um, this videos about to tell you how the basics you need for 
this candy machine. And most importantly, if somebody breaks this or if you made it and somebody breaks it and you get really mad, it's okay. It's Lego. They're they're Legos, okay? Like Legos are rebuildable. So like if if I just smash this right now, it, it, it could be rebuildable. Like like if I just there, take off the cover. This is this is the reason why um Legos are so fun is because you can destruct, rebuild, and no. Wait. Because you can destruct, rebuild, and um create and that that's what that's what I love most about Lego. You can destroy you can destroy anybody's Legos if permission, but like but like seriously if if they don't if you don't have permission, don't do it. I know I know it's fun to wreck people but like not not really wreck people, I mean by like break their things sometimes. They're made out of Legos, but like seriously. Don't get mad over people who break your things because you can always rebuild them unless it's like glass or something like that. And that's it for about the day. Oh, yeah, and don't forget to wash the whole thing when you're done because you don't want dirty candy, do you? You're gonna get sick, but like you can't go to school. And don't don't say yay after this video, okay? Don't say yay and, and like no school when you get sick, okay? Sick is being horrible, okay? Okay, 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 yes, no, yes, okay, I'm gonna take that as a yes because I don't know, I don't know your answers. So, basically, do not, not clean this, and do not get so mad about people if they break this big replica of what I just showed you. So, this is about it, and bye.